Hi, and welcome to Why Do Countries Exist, an episode on European political groups. So today, I'm going to talk about European political groups in the European Parliament. Before we begin, I'll have to explain what the European Parliament is, what a political group within the European Parliament is, and what a European political party is. First off, the European Parliament is the Parliament for the European Union, or the EU. The European Union itself is made up of 27 countries in Europe that all form a political and economic union, helping to tie them all together. Each member sends a certain number of MEPs, or members of European Parliament, based on each country's population, with Germany electing the most at 96 MEPs, and Cyprus, Luxembourg, and Malta all tied for last at 6 MEPs. The Parliament acts like any other Parliament, although its powers are considered fairly weak for the most part, passing mostly suggestions that member countries should carry out and helping give a more unified foreign policy to Europe. The EU Parliament is an institution that just about everyone says has its problems. Europhiles will say it's far too weak, while nationalists will say it's way too strong. Now within the EU Parliament, MEPs form what are known as European political groups. These political groups are made up of a group of MEPs that all share a common ideology, or at least a common ideological niche, and work together to get their policies passed. Political groups offer strength in numbers, and offer MEPs the ability to join in on committees, and generally greater political influence, along with extra funds to help promote these political groups. Now there are some rules to forming a political group. In order to form a group, there has to be at least 25 MEPs, and these 25 MEPs have to come from at least 7 different member states. So if all 96 German MEPs wanted to form a political group centered around promoting German interests like being unfunny or drinking nothing but terrible sparkling water or beer, they wouldn't be able to. Now a political group is usually based around what is known as a European political party. A European political party is similar to a political group in that both often represent the interest of a certain ideological niche. The difference being that a political group operates solely in the EU Parliament, and European political parties operate outside of it, and even in countries that are outside of the EU, with national political parties making up the composition of a European political party. Many European political groups are named after the European political parties. For example, the European Political Party, the Identity and Democracy Party, sits in the EU Parliament in the Identity and Democracy Group. However, it's important to note that not every member of a European political party will sit with the rest of their party. For example, the nine MEPs that are affiliated with the European Free Alliance Political Party are split into three different European political groups. This is often done due to national parties deciding that although they like other members of the European political party, they agree much more with members in different European political groups, and they feel they can better represent their constituencies there. Also, it should be noted that not every European political party has its own political group. Some of the smaller European political parties don't meet the requirements to form their own political group, and are thus forced to join one or more political groups. Confused? Well, it's the EU, so it's kind of expected. I do have some graphs on my website that might help you better understand if you wish to go there. Also, if you're on YouTube, then it'll just appear on screen. Now on with the political groups. In the European Parliament, there are eight political groups. Well, actually more like seven, because one of them is just a group for everyone who isn't in a group, but we'll get there. The three largest political groups make up what is known as the Commission, which acts as the government parties in Parliament. The first of these groups is the European People's Party Group. This is the political group of the European People's Party, or EPP. The EPP represents broadly center-right parties, and can be described as Christian Democratic and Liberal Conservative, with it supporting a social market economy while still hoping to maintain lower taxes on corporations. They are a pro-EU party, and have called for the creation of an EU defense force. The EPP group has 186 MEPs, representing every member state of the EU, with some of the largest national political parties being the Austrian People's Party, GERB from Bulgaria, Les Républicains from France, the Christian Democratic Union from Germany, New Democracy from Greece, Fidesz from Hungary, Fine Gael of Ireland, Forza Italia, Civic Platform from Poland, the Social Democratic Party of Portugal, the National Liberal Party of Romania, and the People's Party of Spain. It is headed by German MEP Manfred Weber. The group's makeup is mostly made up of EPP party members, with 176 of its members being direct EPP members. However, 12 of those members, all part of Fidesz, are suspended EPP members. While most parties in the EPP are center-right and pro-EU, Fidesz has since 2010 been increasingly shifting to the right, 
and has opposed the EU's influence in Hungary. Fidesz has controversially been accused of suppressing opposition, and due to this has been suspended from the EPP, although they still sit with them in Parliament, which I'm sure is pretty awkward. Nine members of the group are independent politicians, or independent of any European political party, but still sit with the EPP. The final member is a member of the European Christian Political Movement. This European political party represents national political parties that tend to lean to the Christian right more and hold fairly social conservative values. The next largest European political group is the Progressive Alliance for Socialists and Democrats. This is the political group for the Party of European Socialists. This group tends to represent more center-left interests, with the group being broadly social democratic and progressive, supporting increases in wages and progressive taxes. It is pro-EU, and is strongly opposed to authoritarianism in both Europe and abroad. It has 145 MEPs, representing every member state except Ireland and the Czech Republic. Some of the largest national parties in the group are the Social Democratic Party of Austria, the Bulgarian Socialist Party, the Socialist Party of France, the Social Democratic Party of Germany, the Democratic Party of Italy, the Labour Party of the Netherlands, the Democratic Left Alliance of Poland, the Socialist Party of Portugal, the Social Democratic Party of Romania, the Spanish Socialist Workers' Party, and the Swedish Social Democratic Party. It is headed by Iraktid Garcia of Spain. The group is mostly made up of Party of European Socialist members, with 135 being members. However, it, like the EPP, also experiences drama within its ranks, as eight of its members, all of whom are from the Social Democratic Party of Romania, are suspended. The Social Democrats in Romania have pushed for laws that many in both Romania and throughout Europe are believed to allow corrupt officials to continue to remain in power, and thus have been suspended, although they still sit with them. Nine members of the group are independents who sit in the group, and one is a member of the European Democratic Party. The European Democratic Party is mostly found in the Renew Europe group. This group is the third largest party in Parliament, and the last of the Commission groups. Renew Europe is made up of the European Democratic Party, which represents mainly centrists, and the Alliance of Liberals and Democrats from Europe, which represents Liberals. The group is in the center of the European Parliament, although some parts of it will lean right or left. It is generally supportive of economically liberal policies and centrist social policies. It is pro-EU and is arguably the most pro-EU group present in Parliament, with some of its MEPs even calling for EU federalization. Renew Europe has 98 MEPs from all EU states, with the exception of Portugal, Malta, Poland, Greece, and Cyprus. Some of the national parties present in Renew Europe are Anno 2011 of the Czech Republic, Vinstra of Denmark, Les Republiques en Marche, and the Democratic Movement of France, the Free Democratic Party of Germany, the People's Party of Freedom and Democracy of the Netherlands, USR Plus of Romania, and the Citizens Party of Spain. It is headed by the Romanian Dacian Cholos. In terms of composition, most of its members are part of the Alliance of Liberals and Democrats, with 71 of its MEPs being affiliated with this political party. 19 of its members are independents, and the remaining 8 are part of the European Democratic Movement. For the first opposition group, we have Identity and Democracy that I mentioned towards the start, with the Identity and Democracy Party being the main European political party in the group. The group is considered the furthest right in Parliament, with it mostly made up of nationalists and right-wing populists. It has strongly opposed increased immigration into the EU. It is supportive of socially conservative policies, wants to reduce the power the EU is able to have, and set up hard borders in the EU. It is also the most anti-EU group in Parliament, with many of its members calling for an end of the EU itself, and has often been accused of being pro-Russian. The group is probably the most controversial group present, as the group is declared cordon sanitaire by all other political groups. This means that under no circumstances will other groups try to form a government or work with members of identity and democracy, as members of the group are perceived as being too extreme for the rest of Parliament. It has 75 MEPs from 10 EU states, Austria, Belgium, the Czech Republic, Denmark, Estonia, Finland, France, Germany, Italy, and the Netherlands. Some of the main national parties in the group are the Freedom Party of Austria, Flemish Interest of Belgium, National Rally of France, Alternative for Germany, and Liga of Italy. It is headed by Marco Zaini of Italy. In terms of composition, it's pretty simple. 60 of its members are part of the Identity and Democracy Party, while the remaining 15 are independent. The next opposition party is the Green slash European Free Alliance. This group is made up of a kind of broad coalition of progressive parties, although each with its own unique ideology. It is mainly made up of the European Green Party, which is an environmentalist party, and the European Free Alliance that represents ethnic and regional minorities throughout Europe. The Green slash Europe Free Alliance also contains the European Pirate Party, which represents pirate politics. That sadly isn't about encouraging everyone to wear eye patches and raid vessels on the high seas, and is mainly about protecting civil liberties online. 
along with Volt Europa, which is focused on federalizing the EU and pushing progressive policies. In terms of United policies, it wants greater environmental regulations, more progressive policies in the EU, and increased autonomy for minorities within the EU. It is a pro-EU group. The group contains 69 MEPs from 15 member states, mostly from Western and Northern Europe. The largest national parties present in the group are the Greens of Austria, the Czech Pirate Party, the Green League of Finland, Europe Ecology of France, Party of the Corsican Nation, Alliance 90, the Greens of Germany, the Latvian Russian Union, Green Left of the Netherlands, the Republican Left of Catalonia, and the Green Party of Sweden. It is headed by Philippe Lamberts of Belgium and Sky Keller of Germany. The composition of the group is mostly made up of Green members, with 52 of its members being Green Party members. Another eight members are independent, but tend to be environmentalists. Four of its members are a part of the European Free Alliance, while another four are members of the European Pirate Party. The last member is a part of Volt Europa. After that, we have the European Conservative and Reformist Group, which is the group for the European Conservative and Reformist Party. It is a broadly conservative group, but ideologically contains a fairly interesting bunch of right-wing ideologies, such as Christian Democrats, Social Conservatives, Libertarians, Nationalistic Conservatives, and even Christian Theocrats. It is in favor of conservative social policy and reduced bureaucracy. The group is anti-EU, but often argues that the EU should stay the way it is, with only minor reform. It has 62 MEPs from 15 member states, with Eastern and Southern Europe sending the most MEPs. The largest national parties are the New Flemish Alliance of Belgium, the Civic Democratic Party of the Czech Republic, Brothers of Italy, Law and Justice of Poland, Vox of Spain, and the Swedish Democrats. It is headed by Rafael Fito of Italy and Rezard Legutko of Poland. The composition of the group has the European Conservative and Reformist Party holding 52 MEPs. Four are independent, three are members of the European Christian political movement, and the remaining three are European Free Alliance members. The last real group in Parliament is the European United Left slash Nordic Green Left. It is made up of the party of the European Left, the Nordic Green Left Alliance, the Now the People's Movement, and Animal Politics EU Party. This group is the furthest left group in Parliament, with mostly socialists but even some communists being present in the group. It opposes capitalism in the EU, with different national parties proposing different economic solutions, although these solutions are always on the left. It is supportive of the idea of the EU, but often clashes with the liberal institutions the EU backs and is anti-NATO. It has 39 MEPs from 13 member states, mainly from Western, Northern, and Southern Europe. The national parties present in the group are the Progressive Workers' Party of Cyprus, Le France Insoumise, the Left of Germany, Syrzia of Greece, Independence for Change from Ireland, Left Bloc and the Communist Party of Portugal, and Podemos and the United Left of Spain. It is headed by Manuel Aubry from France and Martin Schurdervan from Germany. The composition of the group is fairly complicated due to the fact that several of its members have dueling member statuses. For example, the Left Alliance of Finland is a member of the Party of the European Left, the Nordic Green Alliance, and the Now the People's Movement. I'll probably break it down like this. 20 MEPs are part of the Party of the European Left, 10 are members of Now the People, 7 are independent, one is a member of Animal Politics EU, and one is a member of the European Free Alliance. The last group isn't actually a group, and it's just the 30 MEPs that are left. It is known as the non-inscripts, and isn't offered any of the benefits of a political group. It is mainly made of, of four different groups within this group. First are national parties that don't really fall in line with the ideology of any other group. The Five Star Movement of Italy is a good example of this, as even though they could be considered centrist, mixing right-wing and left-wing ideas on governance, it is too extreme for the Moderate or New Europe group. Similarly, the Together for Catalonia party is also fairly liberal, but the party's goal of full independence for the Catalonia region of Spain makes it too controversial to join any group. The next group are individual MEPs who have been kicked out of their group for whatever reason. Usually, as the years progress, the number of these increase as scandals and infighting break out. The next group are those too far right to join the Identity and Democracy group. The People's Party slash R Slovakia is a good example of this. The People's Party slash R Slovakia is probably the closest to a fascist party you'll find in the EU Parliament, with a praising World War II era Slovak fascist calling for a corporatist economy and for driving the Roma community out of Slovakia. The People's Party is a part of the Alliance for Peace and Freedom, which is a European political party that is considered ultra-nationalist. And as a fun little fact, I actually saw some of their propaganda while I was in Italy in the summer of 2019. The last group are those too far left to join the European United Left slash Nordic Green Left. This is pretty much just the Communist Party of Greece. 
the communists in Greece have been fairly controversial to the left outside of Greece, with the Greek communists taking a fairly authoritarian approach to disagreements and dissent within the party, and opposing many progressive social values such as gay rights and opposition to drug criminalization. It has also historically been a Stalinist party, praising Stalin and his authoritarianism. So those are the eight political groups within the EU. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned something. Um, my next video I think is going to be about Bahrain. I haven't really started anything for it, so I don't really know when it will come out. But the quarter is done for me, so I'm done with school for a little bit, so hopefully it can come out soonish. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. If you want to email me, you can email me at whydocountriesexist at gmail.com for your thoughts, comments, suggestions, or hate mail. Take care, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.